How's it going guys? Davey here from PhoneWolf.com and today I'm doing a what's on my tablet video on my Asus Nexus 7. So this is actually my day-to-day -day driver when it comes to a tablet. You know, I have other tablets such as the iPad and the Galaxy Note 10.1, but this is the one I prefer to carry on on me because, you know, it's small, it's light, and of course it's running the latest version of Android which is Jellybean 4.1.1. So it definitely gets the job done for me. Um, I'll go ahead and show you, you know, what's on it. So first thing you'll see is of course the home screen. It's completely empty. Um, all my home screens are actually empty other than the main one. And all I have is the weather widget, which gives me the time, which is definitely something that you want. You know, I don't want to be looking at the time on there. And I get the weather for today. I get a little preview of the upcoming week. And then of course I get the date on the left. And you know, these are little shortcuts that you could tap. I could tap on here, it'll go to my calendar. And then I could tap of course on, on the clock, it'll go to my alarm. And then if I tap on the little weather over here, it takes me to my weather widget. And what's cool about this is I could actually scroll through different cities. So this is HD widgets. I did a full on review on phonebuff.com if you guys want to check that out in more detail. But anyway, that's what I have on my home screen. At the bottom, you know, on my taskbar or dock, I have, of course, Google Chrome because mainly I use the browsing on my tablet. You know, for everything else, like a lot of my apps, I use my smartphone, but on my tablet, you know, the browsing is the main feature that I like to have on here. Of course, I have a calculator if I want to do a quick calculation and, you know, doing it on here is pretty huge, so it's pretty cool. Um, I have this app right here, which is called Catch. So I'll go ahead and show you guys this really quick. I'm probably going to be doing a review on it in the future. Uh, this is actually my new note-taking app. You know, I used to use Color Note, which I definitely still like, and uh, there's some advantages that offers that this one doesn't. But this one has a really clean user interface, and you'll notice that this is the theme when it comes to my tablet. I only like applications that have, you know, a very clean user interface, especially if they have like an ICS design guideline, you know, type user interface. And of course, uh, it's gotta work good too. So it's not gonna look good, it's gotta work good. So this one, uh, you know, fills both needs. So you can see I have a few labels over here. I can go ahead and tap on phone buff and you can see I have a little checklist for videos. So, you know, I just made this really quick. Uh, of course, right now I'm doing a what's on my Nexus 7 tablet. You can see uh, my next video is gonna be why I don't root my phone right away. But uh, let's say I'm, you know, done with this video. I'll just go ahead and check it, hit back and save it. Um, of course, you know, you could, attach uh, a file, you could attach a photo, a voice memo, or a reminder. You could share it, of course. You could favorite it and delete it up here. And uh, what's cool is up here, you could actually go into different spaces. So basically they're like labels, and uh, you know, I have one phone buff, and I'll have a few others. I just started using this recently, but definitely like it, so uh, check that out. But of course, like I said, I'm gonna be doing a review on it in the future. Got my Gmail app, which I have two of my Gmail accounts on here, of course, I gotta use that have Google Play right here because I definitely like checking out, you know, new apps on my tablet because, you know, it's pretty fun, especially like games and stuff with this uh, NVIDIA processor. Got YouTube, you know, got to have YouTube on here. So I'll go ahead and show you guys my feed really quick. Uh, on my tablet, I actually have a different account logged in, but it has a lot of like educational videos that I'm subscribed to on here because it's pretty cool. Anyways, go ahead and go into my app launcher and you can see I have a couple of apps. On the top left, I have Google Analytics. So this is basically how I check my stats on like phonebuff.com to see you know how many people visited. Of course, I have my banking apps for Bank of America, Chase, and um, I have Capital One, but I don't have the Capital One app on here because it doesn't support the full screen mode of my tablet yet. So it doesn't make the cut. Of course, you guys see Catch, uh, Calendar, Camera, pretty basic stuff, Chrome, of course. My file explorer that I use is ES File Explorer. So I use this on my phone and of course on my tablet. I just like it because, you know, you could customize it. You know, right now I have it in the list mode. You can make it grid mode. It's really clean. You know, it gets the job done. Uh, the menu options are great and it's free. So can't really beat it. And also if you're rooted, it takes you up to, you know, the root of the phone or the tablet. In this case, you know, like I said, I'm running complete stock. So I'm not rooted uh, just yet. Of course, I have Facebook. You know, I don't really use Facebook all that much. Same goes with the Google Plus. I don't really use it, but they're good apps, and I do, you know, occasionally go on it, so I'll have it. I have Flipboard, which is really cool. You know, I just recently started using this maybe a, like a month or two ago, and I like it, you know, being able to read through articles like this, and if I want to see more, just tap on it and go to it. But that is that. What else do we have in here? Uh, Fox Sports, something I definitely love having on tablet. You know, when I'm watching football on Sundays or if I'm watching basketball, I just open this app up and that way I'm able to, you know, keep track of all the stats, you know, keep track of my fantasy teams. Uh, you know, I'll go to scores, for example, and then be able to see all the stats. Well, this is an upcoming game, so I won't be able to see it. But anyway, Fox Sports, uh, the reason why I choose this over the ESPN app, I used to use the ESPN app, but the ESPN app doesn't look as good, you know. And like I said, I, I really wanted something, you know, basically with my tablet, I'm really, really picky and 
I wanted something that looks really good. You know, on my phone, I use the uh, Score Center app still, but on here it's pretty cool because you have videos that you can go from, that you can see from Fox when you go to media, and that you can watch them right on your tablet. And with such a big screen, something you'd probably want to do. Let's go ahead and go on. So I have the global app application. It's called Global. Um, basically, this is just a little demonstration of the NVIDIA, you know, Tegra 3 processor. Oh, gotta turn the volume way down on there. So basically, this shows off the graphics over here. Um, you know, I don't know, I just have it on here because it's pretty cool. It's a kind of like a show off thing when someone says, oh, what kind of tablet is that? And, you know, I go ahead and start bragging. But anyway, uh, that's the global application, HD widgets. Mint.com, I'm not going to log in because that's all my personal finance stuff. But uh, I definitely recommend this. Uh, it's a great way to keep track of your finances. You know, you get to see your net worth and it's one of the best ways to actually, you know, keep track of your expenses. As you can see, I have Zillow right here, which is mortgages. Uh, it lets you, you know, uh, calculate you know how much a loan payment is going to be how much the interest is going to be etc the reason why I have it on here and as long as are along with my Trulia app right here is because I am looking for a new house right now so uh, that's why I have them of course I'm not gonna have them all the time so might not be something you're interested in if you don't uh, or if you're not looking uh, for a new house anyway this is the Tegra Zone, which is basically what you'd want if you have a Tegra 3 or a Tegra processor. This gives you all the news right here. You get games that are supported, you know, for specifically for uh, your processor, like Dead Trigger. I've done, you know, reviews on the channel before about it, so I won't go too far into this. Let me back. Oh, apparently won't let me back out if they hit home. But anyway, I'll go on. What else? Google Wallet on here. I've never used it. I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna use my tablet for that. But oh, Papyrus. I did a video on that as well it's a basically you know a, a, it's not a note-taking app it's more or less like a what is it called whoa a little painting app you know so you could draw things if you want so that's pretty cool uh, I did a full review on that if you guys want to check that out um, the only app really on my phone or on my tablet should I say that you know doesn't really meet the design guidelines is this volume plus app uh, you can see like the it doesn't actually fit the whole screen and it has the old gingerbread settings layout. It doesn't have like ICS. Hopefully the developer updates this soon, but it doesn't really matter to me because I only use this for one thing and that's to amplify the speaker on my Nexus 7. The speaker on here is pretty weak. You know, I did a, I, I talked about that in my review on the Nexus 7, but it's really weak. So when I, I don't know, it seems to be a theme with Nexus devices lately, but I enabled this guy and it sounds like it should, which is good because watching YouTube videos, like I mentioned earlier, would be really hard to do with that weak speaker. But that's pretty much it. I mean, like I said, I'm very, very minimalistic. Actually, I, I didn't mention one thing. Uverse. So I have AT&T Uverse for my, you know, TV, and I could go through, you know, all my recordings, manage them, and delete them. Um, still kind of sad to see that, you know, the iPhone version or the iOS version has a uh, better Uverse app because you actually have like a remote where you can control your TV from your uh, phone or tablet. Uh, the Android version doesn't have it yet, which is pretty much has been the theme for over the last couple of years. Like the iOS version gets a new feature first, and then the Android version gets it. But not that big of a deal to me. I mean, I have a remote. It's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, everything else, you know, the stock, you know, browser, I do it on there. I have, of course, Google Now and could do voice search and all that good stuff. So that's pretty much all I need on my tablet. Like I said, the main thing I use on here is the browsing. And lately, I've been using uh, the Trulia app for real estate listings a lot because it's a great way to be able to uh, actually go through i actually prefer looking at on through the app than actually going to the trulia website which is you know it says a lot but oh i forgot one more app ted so ted is just a uh it's kind of like a, a it's a website that lets you see a whole bunch of videos from speakers that talk about you know pretty much educational stuff i'm really into that kind of stuff you know you could look into uh for example i'm really into science, so I could go into the science on, you know, for example, the brain and watch a whole bunch of videos of, uh, you know, the professionals or the industry experts that talk about in the brain and all this stuff. So I definitely like that. You know, I check out those videos once in a while. You know, I like to have it on my tablet versus my phone because it's a bigger screen. But that's pretty much it for what's on my tablet. Very minimalistic. Like I said, I like to keep it clean. But uh, thank you for watching the video. If you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.